everybody, Tina Brock, Producing Artistic Director, Idiopathic Radiculopathy Consortium here in Philadelphia. That's a theater company, and theater is on the rise and coming back. So we're excited to be able to think about doing live theater with an audience. We'll be back in 2022. I'm your host for Into the Absurd, a virtually existential dinner conversation every Saturday at 5 p.m. on Zoom, on Facebook Live, on YouTube, on podcast, and we have so enjoyed being here with you uh, over this last year and a half, introducing you to creators and makers in Philadelphia, around the country and around the world. It's been just a joy and a pleasure to dig into life and times during this very existentially challenging time. Those works we would normally be bringing to you from the authors of the Theater of the Absurd and other existentialist authors we were able to bring alive in the case, uh, in the course of having interviews and talking with people about what was happening for them in their lives as artists, as family, as creators, as people in a community. These are the stories that we were telling over this time and we're super, super excited to have had that chance to have you in the audience. So thank you for being there. I hope you'll join us on Saturday, October the 2nd, when we talk with Liz Goldberg. Liz is uh, a, a fashion illustrator. She is a designer. She is a painter. She is a woman of many talents. I'm sitting in front of her work, one of her works right now. Liz and I got to know each other way back, I don't know, many years ago when the IRC was working on a production of Eugenie Inesco's The Chairs. We met through a mutual friend and Liz would come to rehearsal and she would sketch us in rehearsal and her observations about the rehearsal process through her sketches brought these characters alive in a way that was so fundamental to our understanding of interpreting that play and as a director to how a person sitting in on a rehearsals was was absorbing the energy of that play and that's what was super excited exciting about sitting with Liz and getting to know her and her art just is flamboyant and she celebrates the diva in all of us and that flamboyance and that just that just a gregarious nature it is so alive in her art and in her interviews as well. So this will be Liz's third time on the show. We've talked with her before with her partner in uh, filmmaking, Warren Bass. Uh, she's been on with um, uh, Warren talking about their work and their award-winning work in filmmaking. And we are excited to have her back this time to talk about a show that she was working on up in New York in September. And it's called it was called Mini Fest, and it was held up at Theater Lab, and it was a collection of I'm going to read it, short sparks of new work and other small surprises, tiny delights. So they, a number of artists came together to, to, to think about and to present work on the theme of fashion and the body. And so that is where Liz comes in and her work in fashion design and fashion illustration. So I can't wait to talk to her about this project that uh, just ended up in New York and what she has on the uh, on the books in the next couple of months. So I do hope you'll join us for that conversation. Liz is a, a wonderful, vibrant guest who loves, uh, loves to talk about her work and the ways in which art intersects in many dimensions. So join us, that's Saturday, October the 2nd at 5 p.m. If you're on our mailing list, uh, you'll get that email on Wednesday morning with a link into the Zoom room. You can always join us on Facebook Live, Idiopathic Radiculopathy Consortium. You can find past episodes over on YouTube or you can find us also on podcasts on all the major, um, all the all the podcasting platforms uh, into the absurd with Tina Brock. And um, it's been a pleasure and a delight to have you along for that ride. And as we come to the end of the Philadelphia Fringe Festival this year, the Into the Absurd will be transitioning into a program Saturdays at 5 p.m. It'll be when the event comes about. So as we look to get back onto that stage, what we're gonna do is use Into the Absurd as a way of keeping in touch with you about upcoming shows, not only for the IRC, but for other companies in town to take you backstage, to give you interesting, hopefully interesting conversations and questions with the artists and the people that are making the theater work happen. Never before has it been so just, the a home run hit that we understand how it is such a collaborative, um, a collaborative work that we do and not having been able to be on that stage with you in the audience or to have our, all of our designers and our crew and everyone who makes these show happens. These are the stories that we would like to continue to tell as stories come out um, 
productions that we get ready for in 2022. So that's what we'll be doing is using the show as a way to spotlight, to take you backstage, to take you in the front of house, to give you all of those fun stories that happen as the product is being made, as the art is being made. So if you're on our mailing list, you'll be up to date with everything we're doing and we'll let you know when a special ITA is going to happen. Do mark your calendars for Sunday. No, not Sunday. Mark it for Saturday, December the 18th at 5 p.m. When on a special Into the Absurd, we will look at uh, David Robson's, playwright David Robson's adaptation of August Strindberg's The Stronger. His wife, Sonia Robson, and I will be performing in this uh, this virtual uh, uh, adaptation on Saturday, December the 18th at five. And we're looking forward to presenting that work to you. Sonia and David work together on the translation. Sonia on the translation, David on the adaptation. And uh, it should be a fun and exciting uh, evening. We'll begin at five o'clock and we'll also then have a QA and a with, with David after that. So that's um, a way for you to stay in touch with the IRC. And we're going to be back on the stage in 2022. We are getting all of our ducks in a row and all of those pieces of the puzzle together. The pieces are all there. We just have to, to get a few uh, details straightened out as we keep an eye on the health and welfare of everyone involved. And we're very excited to be back on the stage with you in 2022. So more on that to come. If you head on over to Idiopathic Radiculopathy Consortium to our website and you sign up for the mailing list, you won't miss out on anything that's happening. So we'll see you next week, Saturday, October. October 2nd at 5 p.m. for a conversation with Liz Goldberg. I just get so excited sitting in front of her art, talking about her art. Liz is a, a tour de force, and I know you'll have a great time hearing from her, so we hope to see you then. And in the week ahead, be safe, be well, and make it a great week.